What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the CNA Critique. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the new Ryan Johnson movie, Knives Out. So Knives Out is an old school mystery whodunit flick and centers around the Thromby family led by old man Harlan, family patriarch and world famous crime writer. But when the old man is found dead with his throat slashed, Detective Benoit Blanc is hired to investigate and he's convinced this was no suicide. His suspicions lead to several members of the Thromby family including the daughter Linda, son Walt and daughter-in-law Joni. What follows is a series of events that undoubtedly makes Knives Out one of the most entertaining and clever movies I've seen all year. Up your ass. Oh, very nice. Matter of fact, oh eat shit. How's that? Eat shit. Eat shit. Eat shit. Smug smile. Definitely eat shit. Knives Out is part of my ongoing coverage of the Denver Film Festival, and I was actually lucky enough to interview Ryan Johnson on the red carpet and ask him a few questions. It was a pretty cool experience, so if you want to see my interview and the Q&A with Ryan Johnson, go ahead, check the video out. The link's up above. I'm a really big fan of Knives Out, guys. I really am. It's one of those murder mystery whodunit movies where anybody could be the killer, and almost everybody has a motive, which ends up making this a movie that's going to keep you entertained from beginning to end. The ensemble cast performances also kick ass here. You can definitely tell everyone was dialed in and had a fun time playing around with their characters. And no one had more fun playing their character than Daniel Craig does here playing this detective. He has this over the top ridiculous southern accent that steals every scene he's in, which is pretty remarkable considering how loaded and talented this cast is. What's even more remarkable though is that this movie features Hollywood heavyweights like Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, Michael Shannon, Christopher Plummer, Jamie Lee Curtis, Don Johnson, Tony Collette, Lakeith Stanfield, yet the actor I came away most impressed with was Anna de Armas. I had no idea who she was before watching Eyes Out, but her character is really crucial to the story. She plays Marta, the caregiver and the only true friend of the old man, and basically becomes the Watson to Daniel Craig's Sherlock Holmes. If you didn't know who Anna de Armas was before watching Knives Out, better believe you'll know who she is after. Ryan Johnson wrote the script as well as directing it and I really liked how he hits on a lot of hot button topics that are a big deal in 2019 like immigration, internet trolling, and white privilege. He writes these characters that are pretty much the epitome of people you meet today. There's the guy who's always on his phone, the lifestyle guru, the social activist. The people we meet in this movie are people we've met before sometime in real life which made me appreciate this movie more to be honest. I'm not gonna say this movie's perfect though because the ending did disappoint me. I was expecting more of a like a surprise ending but instead things ended pretty predictably. It wasn't enough to ruin my experience of the movie but the bitter taste was definitely there nonetheless. But all in all guys as someone who doesn't necessarily like whodunit movies based on the Agatha Christie novels I found this movie to be fun as hell with great performances all around from everybody that reminded me a lot like a celebrity summer camp but with paychecks. So I'm going to give this movie a strong B+, a good movie to take your family to during Thanksgiving weekend, and one I was happy to see with Ryan Johnson in the audience. Alright guys, thanks for watching my review of Knives Out. I'm doing a lot of these festival reviews, seeing a lot of these movies early, so if you want the early scoop, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It'll help the channel out a lot, and it'll help get me famous.